Norfolk uh, head out to sea for safety and at Langley Air Force Base in Virginia as well. They are moving their warplanes inland because yeah. the storm is coming. Janice said don't focus on where the landfall is because Charleston, even though it doesn't look like on the map it's going to hit Charleston, it's going to be north of that, they're still going to feel the effects. Right. Yeah, right now. Meanwhile, the president played uh, a mini meteorologist yesterday, talked about the storm, and then he talked about the wall, and he talked about immigration. And by the way, there are major drops in the August numbers, down about 30 percent from July, but there's still a lot uh, needs to be done at the border, especially building the wall. Uh, Paul Ryan uh, didn't give money for it. The Democratic House didn't give money for it, so he's repurposing funds to do it. He talked about that yesterday. And so uh, AOC and Dan Crenshaw went a couple more tweets, so it, right. it was quite a tweet. Well, growing up in the South where people do have guns and they do use them for hunting, and yes, groups of individuals go out together and they hunt and they're members of these hunt clubs and they, lend and they each share other guns, guns. Right, they, share they lend guns. each other guns, they try each other's guns out. It doesn't mean that they're abusing their spouse at home. It doesn't mean that they're violent. Right. It doesn't mean that they have criminal records. AOC can say that. She lives in New York City. That's fine. She can have her opinion, but she's not educated when it comes to gun, what, what people are using right. their guns for in other and, parts of the country. And I would think that's a really good point. The other thing to keep in mind, too, too, is that she uh, might be looking at that shooter who wouldn't have passed a background check uh, in Odessa, but was able to get it through a private sale. And that's what that's the issue that's going to be debated in Congress starting right away. Because you can understand if someone if, if Dan Crenshaw lends it to somebody, you would think that he just because he's a Navy SEAL with his background that he knows I can't give it to some lunatic. who's going to make me look terrible. But you wonder if someone's going to go around the system on a private sale. Uh, and and try to get that gun from a friend or a neighbor. That's right. As opposed you can to, have a, to you system. can have a healthy, good discussion. They can hear both sides. You don't have to accuse someone of abusing their wife, though, if they borrow someone's gun. Well, uh, will it come up in the Senate? Mitch McConnell said, I think, two days ago that he will bring up whatever he feels the president will get behind and try to pass. So we'll keep you posted on that. In the meantime, straight ahead, 2020 Democrats going all in on climate change during a seven hour town hall. We're getting on top of the cigarette problem. I know. There was sales were down and in comes the jewel and other products like this. And now these kids are getting addicted and it doesn't smell. So they're able to get away with it. It's impossible for school schools to get on top of this. But you just told us, doctor, that the main problem you have that's acute yes. is when they put cannabis products in it. Exactly. You don't know what's in them, do you? No, you don't. And especially if you buy them. They're going to get it illegally, which means it's even additionally unregulated, let alone the danger of using it. Yes. Now you're having a danger of somebody else concocting it. Exactly. exactly. So I was reading that the majority of these patients are teenagers or young adults yes. in their 20s or their 30s. There's this 19-year-old in Delaware at the hospital. And... They, he told the doctors he does use e-cigarettes. He had a coughing fit. And now he's going to need a double lung transplant if it gets worse. He's only 19 years old. Yeah. Well, um, it's a huge problem. Don't let anyone tell you it's not. And we should stop it uh, in its tracks. Dr. Melody Prezada, thanks so much. Thank, Thank you, you for having me. All right. Uh, straight ahead. Uh, back to this. Hurricane South Carolina have been urging people to evacuate. And he's on a barrier island where it looks like people got out. Yeah. But according to the authorities in South Carolina, the number of people who actually did evacuate is incredibly low which is a problem. Because my friends in Charleston, many of them decided to stay because they saw it downgrade to a category two. And they thought, and you know, this is not anything new to the folks who live in Charleston. But there's MUSC down in downtown Charleston, the medical university there. There are a lot of people in the hospital there. I'm wondering what they did, if they're relying on generators or if they evacuated. Mm -hmm. So Janice Dean knows who on the verge of winning because he had mastered the art of persuasion. He responds. And if you punch him, he punches back harder. Absolutely. But I've, I remember watching Joel Osteen and he said, I don't listen to the haters. I don't even read what anyone writes about me because I don't want the negativity. You know, it's always interesting.